What is up guys? Just doing another check-in here on our 3x3 grow with our Mirage clones. A um, few things we've done in the past week. We've transplanted the girls into some 10 gallon pots. We went ahead and did some LST and some super cropping. So we began to train them. I did that like three or four days ago. Probably three days ago actually because it was, yeah, about three days ago. So they're already responding well to that. Uh, and then we brought up the light. And so far, they look like they're coming back on track. So I'll show you the guys the light here. We raise up to 24 inches. Let that light really spread out now as these plants are now a little bit wider. And as you can see, they're definitely starting to bounce back now. Um, moving them into some 10 gallon pots with some fresh dirt, definitely, uh, along with kind of helping rinse out the roots and stuff before, definitely is showing uh, signs of them coming back. So I want to show you guys uh, the pots here. So these are 10 gallon soft pots. I got them some saucers here so I can collect that extra water. Um, that'll suck back and make sure that the medium is fully uh, soaked and, and moist. Sorry if some of you hate that word. If you guys look here, so this is where I've been tying them down. Like stuff like this is probably what I'm gonna be taking for clones, just some, you know, lowers, because these aren't really gonna become anything. Um, if you guys see here, how I tied these down is I just got a normal, like a hole punch, like a normal school hole punch, and just punched out, you know, a whole lot of the soft pot, and then I tied my, uh, my strings down to that. If you guys don't want to do that, so one of them I had before worked great. The current one that I just bought from Walmart's really cheap and it's kind of a struggle. You can also use a knife. Just make sure if you do use a knife, you want to buy an extra tool, you put in the, the cut that way. You want a horizontal cut. You do not want a vertical cut because if you tie your string to a vertical cut, it will have a tendency to creep upwards, especially if your plant continues to grow upwards and puts more pressure on it. As you're in there moving around, moving stuff around, moving the pot around, watering, they'll probably eventually tear through. So if you do cut it, cut it uh, horizontally. Another thing that I like to do when I tie my plants down is how I attach them to these, the branches. Instead of tying a knot around the branches that's fixed and will eventually choke off as these branches get thicker. Let's see if I can find an example. There we go. I do kind of like a, a slip knot. So I tie a just a knot, a circle, and then I feed the string through it. Whoops. You just drop my phone real quick. Um, so that as you see here, if these plants get wider or get bigger, this can be loosened a little bit. You see it's not, it's holding onto it to two strings too, not one, which will already put less pressure. And then it will obviously have some slack to, to open up as the branch gets wider versus choking off that, that branch and that nutrient flow. You'll also see that I'm super cropping. So what I'm doing is pinching and bending, pinching and bending. So if it's a big woody branch, I tied it down. If it's a softer one that I could probably just kind of super crop like this one. See, I kind of bent it right there. Now that's sitting that way. I've done that to these two. So you can see this one I did a couple days ago. Plants already kind of trying to go upright. So I'm just trying to break these, break these up a little bit. I'm gonna have to come through here and leaf strip again. This is a really bushy strain. So when I did the transplant, I did about 30% ocean forest and about 70% happy frog since he's only going to be vegging for another few weeks before I flip him to flower. I did add some additional amendments to this soil um, so that they can continue to break down um, throughout the grow and hopefully keep it fed. I added some of that oyster shell, some alfalfa meal. Um, what else did I add? The BioLive is just kind of a base. Um, that's pretty much it. What else did I use? Uh, fish meal, that's what I used. So a couple different sources of nitrogen, some good source of uh, uh, phosphorus and uh, potassium and all that stuff, all that good stuff in there. So as you can see, the tips are just a little bit burned, but not too, too bad. But overall, they're really digging it, guys. They're, they're bouncing back great. They've been growing super fast these past few days as they've bounced back from the transplant, but they're so far, they're enjoying being trained. The only thing I would tell you guys if you are growing in a, in a space like this is instead of training your plants in a circle like I've kind of done, I just take the branches and pull them down to whatever the side is, is you can kind of train them by pulling these branches like this way. And then instead of in a circle, you're kind of training them in a rectangular pattern to better fill out, especially if you're doing two plants, you know, two rectangular patterns will best fit out your tent. So I'll pull branches like that one and I would have tied that one like over here, tied this one like here, this one, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. Again, I just try to keep it pretty simple um, so I can move these plants around pretty easily and, and get to them without much uh, much hassle. 
my lowers I'm gonna take my clones off of down there. Like I said, those aren't gonna be nothing. But I'm gonna definitely have to leaf strip this thing again in the next probably few days, at least the right one, because um, it is really bushed back quickly. Um, but yeah, guys, I don't see this being much more uh, than a eight week strain. My outdoor that I have, my little tiny outdoor Mirage is, uh, is pretty much finished and it's been flowering for just about eight weeks. So I don't see this indoors taking much longer than probably eight weeks. I haven't actually looked up through like the nerd genetics site or whatever their exact flowering time, but it's, it's a, it's a it sounds like it's a, a hybrid that leans a little bit indica in its growth. So I would expect a slightly shorter flowering time. But yeah, guys, other than that, everything's looking good. We'll uh, we'll do another update here when we right after we take our clones or after we leaf strip, and then uh, you know I don't see it being much more than probably two weeks before we flip the flower. I'm not going to bush out this tent to make it look like a jungle like some of my past grows. I want to still keep it manageable. Like I said, I'll probably let them get a little bigger than this, and then I'll go ahead and flip them just so I can hurry up and get a get a harvest rolling, and then get my clones set up, and then depending on how I like it, I'll either run it again or I'll give away the clones or trade them for. Or something else one of my buddies has a a cookie strain that he's trying to take clones off of so maybe I'll, I'll run some of that we'll see but they're really enjoying the transplant so far the light has been brought up like i said to 24 inches to really widen out and spread out the light pattern that's cranked up to about 80 90 percent um but yeah if you guys have any questions just just holler at me we still don't have a fan in here i've been just leaving this thing halfway open but we're gonna definitely now that they're starting to bush out we're gonna need to get that inline fan and filter in here or at least a little clip fan. I had a clip fan in my last row and I don't know where I put it. I thought I had it in one of my moving boxes, but it wasn't there. So I'll probably just end up buying all that stuff from Amazon somewhere and then throwing it in here and showing you guys kind of how I do that. And then, uh, yeah, once we flip the flower, we'll be doing weekly updates again to kind of track the progress of the, of the flower and uh, any feedings that I do. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any questions, just shoot me a comment or a, an email or something and I will try to get back to you. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.